Welcome to OpenTX. Hey, what is going on everybody? Today we're going to be downloading the latest firmware for our Tyrannus QX7. We have it here on the table and ready to go. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to OpenTX.org. We're going to select Downloads and we're going to go to OpenTX Downloads. We're going to find the build that we want and the build that I want and I'm looking for is the 2.2.1 right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select it, scroll down to the download. And for me, this was my first time downloading any type of firmware for Tyrannus or any type of OpenTX software. So I went ahead and got the Windows installation to go with it. Basically, this is going to put a program on my desktop to enable me to easily and more efficiently download newer, latest and greatest firmware, as well as flash custom settings to my transmitter. So... Without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and have this load up here. Basically, it's going to run through some agreement prompts. We're going to select the destination folder. I have multiple hard drives on this computer, so I selected the one that I would like it to go to. Uh, normally, it's the C drive. Instead of the Echo right here, it's going to be the Charlie or C. So we're going to select Next to go on. It's just going to tell us the menu folder. So we're going to install it. It'll unpack, and it is pretty. it's a pretty lightweight software so it should load quickly so it's going to open up it's going to give you this prompt the ultimate transmitter companion uh, that's basically what it calls so this is a startup screen and basically walk you through what you want to do once you open it up for the first time i'm just going to go ahead and select ok so right now i do not have a usb connected to my qx7 but as you can see it already recognizes that i have a x7 because i have plugged it in prior to this video. So once you pull your brand new Tyrannus out of the box, you are going to want to upload the latest firmware to it because there's no telling what type of firmware it has installed. There is a way to check your latest firmware. You hold down the menu button there and radio setup is screen one, two is your SD card, three is global functions, four is your trainer, and five is your version. Now you know how to check the version. So once you pull your Tyrannus out of the box, check the firmware version, Go to OpenTX.org, go to the download section, and find the latest firmware version of your choosing. So, now that we have that done, we'll power down our transmitter. To get into the download mode of your Tyrannus, you're going to hold in these two buttons, point them inboard, and power up your Tyrannus. So, you have write firmware, restore, or exit. So, we're going to write the firmware, and we're going to plug in our USB. All right, once your USB is plugged in, your computer should recognize it. If it doesn't recognize the Tyrannus right off the bat, give it a second, it will load drivers automatically. All right, so it'll pull up one menu for the Tyrannus, two if you have a removable disk, which I do have an SD card inserted into it. So we don't want to worry about this here, so go ahead and close this out. What we do want to see is go into our settings, we want to make sure that our Tyrannus is loaded up and cancel out of there. Here we can check for updates. No updates are available for this time. Download firmware. Now that the file browser is open, we want to ensure we have the correct firmware and it's in the correct directory. We have one more step to take before our firmware update is complete. We have to select the right firmware to radio button located on the left hand side and review the correct firmware is selected. Ensure the proper file path is in the top text bar and the version and date of the firmware versions are correct. Once everything is selected, press right to TX button. The firmware will flash to your transmitter and will give flashing complete when done. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please consider doing so. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time.